Hello all this, it's a special episode today. Um, and why it's special, because uh, later in this episode I'll be talking to a celebrity. Believe it or not, I'm going to be talking to Father Christmas. But while I'm up here on top of Garth Hill, I had a call from my old mate Sarge a couple of weeks ago, and he said he saw basically a sleigh up there and it was behaving very erratically, Sarge, wasn't uh, it? I can tell you exactly what happened. Oh, come, in, come and tell me, Sarge, yeah. Me and Derek Hatton. Yes. We're up and roosting. Roosting, doing, yeah. Doing some rabbiting. All right. Well, this black thing could be a valley. It's a, it's a German bomb, I said, no, it can't be. Anyway, <laughs> shotgun, bang, bang, hit the sleigh. Well, Santa, and he's read these. And he rude old stuff, I'll give it that. Down they went the valley, over the show ground, and it crash landed in Penn Mighty. So we ran down and we were going to say anything. Oh. I'm telling you today, so if you can get them pen mighty boys to possibly repair that say. Yeah, oh, well, obviously there's a little bit of information you get there. So Derek Abbott uh, yeah, took a pot shot on Santa. Don't tell anyone. I won't tell anyone. Right. So how did it be? Did it spit a little couple of loops? There's smoke. You know, over there, down, was it, probably? Was it? the river down. You could see he's starting to fight with the oh, sleigh. Over there, probably, was it? It started over there. Down yeah. he went. Off he goes. That's mighty. That's where he landed. I got my binoculars out. He's okay. Rain days are okay. Yeah. Rudolph's nose was, you know, yellow and red, but fine. <laughs> well, the thing about it, what I've heard, right, he's actually staying in Kilmary, so I ain't going out to his ass, I've oh, got God. an interview with him. Well, that's really so will I tell him? Uh, Derek Abbott could be on the door. No, uh, we're sorry. We are Derek, sorry, but don't tell Linda. All right. All right, do not <laughs> tell Linda. Tell that's him all him. I'm saying, don't <laughs> All right. Well, you went in the air for this big, um, expert sidekick up on Garth Hill many, many, many times. I've had a cup of tea. I've had a cup of tea now, Sarge. Anyway, all of you are... Enjoy the rest of the day. Stay to us, Raz. Bye. Enjoy the weekend. I oh well. You heard the eyewitness report from uh, Brian, Brian Sarge, uh, about what he what he saw and the, who was responsible for um, taking a pot shot at Santi. But we, I can tell you that Santi's safe and the reindeer are okay. But um, Rob, you're up, yeah? Yes, yes. I heard this shot and then over from over there, was it? Over was hundred miles away there, and I looked up in the air and there was this sled coming across, looking very distressed, the rangers were, they were coming across a quarry, and they looped the loop, and then headed over towards the showground there, and just as they went over the trees of the showground, they landed in the fields up there by Penwiney, but luckily I could hear the old ho, 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 and the rangers, so everybody was all right, but uh, the, the sledge was... It must have been a bit of a shock, Rob, because you were obviously up here without me that day. That's right, it was... Quite you had stood, stood here, you had, yeah. a, you had a little shot at the bang. Yes, yes. Must have been sore. To see Santa here must have been a bit of a surprise. Well, well, especially so early in the season. I was wondering what was going on, really. But it must have been a, a so test run. Point over there now. He was just looking up. Just, just, there's a crack over there. There's a crack over there by that window over there somewhere. Yeah. And then I could see this. Well, it was like a shadow coming across. And then come towards the quarry. And then it did this sort of loop to loop. As he, and they started to come down yeah. very low over the showground. He was obviously in trouble. Yes. And up there, the Penmines fields, just up there, he, he well, crash landed, if you like, but a smooth landing, really, onto the field. And I, I could just see figure, a figure getting out of it, going, ho, ho, ho. You, so you still hear it, I could you? just, well, he was a bit, you know, quite a loud, loud, very loud, chap, yes. very loud, yes. All right. Yes, so hopefully things have been sorted. Well, I, I've been, um, I've got, just a bit of a risk, so I'm going to see Sandy down in Kilmary. All right. So um, you'll be able to tell me what actually happened. Yeah. But there's a there's a rumor going around that it was um, Sarge and Derek Abbott down there doing a bit of rabbiting. Well, it was scandalous, gosh. isn't it? Well, 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 well. Is there that many rabbits about these days? <laughs> Poor old Derek. Short of a meal, was he? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway, Rob, yeah. thank you very much. Okay. It's always good to have an eye with this. And I knew, well, yes. I knew Rob Niblets would know what was yeah, going I'll, on. I'll, I'll sign the sheet if you want me to sign. <laughs> But the good news is Santi is all right. He should be all right, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know whether his beard's a little bit singed or not, but it should grow up when <laughs> Christmas comes. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you very much, Rob. Okay. That's brilliant. All right. Hello, bud. Hiya, Bob. Right. You were at your eye with this. I dragged you up Garth Hill now, right? As you know, you, you, you phoned me straight away when you heard about it. Yeah, yeah. Because you were up here. Yeah, well, yes. I've never seen nothing like it, John. Well, tell me what you saw, Bob. Well, I was... as I got to the top, I, I heard this bang and... There was there was like something red in the sky and I could see smoke coming from it. Yes. And I thought, 
Well, that's going to... Is it a meteorite, I thought? A meteorite? Well, I thought, you know, I thought, well, you don't get meteorites in the day. No. And it went down past the quarry like that, and it crashed on Penmine ground. And I see a bit of smoke coming up. If you have a look over here now, we can see, we can walk off the rail a bit. We can see Penmine over there, yeah. can't we? Yeah. So yeah. it was over there. One of, one of the fields just was. Yeah. And, and it sort of hit there, a puff of smoke, and I thought, oh, this is going to be a meteorite. I'm going to tell my uh, wife when I get home, I just seen a meteorite up on Garth Hill. Well, that's when you found me. Yeah. Well, I, I thought, well, you know, perhaps perhaps John was up here earlier, maybe, or he, he was, you know. Well, if I told you what it was, would you believe me? Oh, no. Well, I, well I'm going to tell you, apparently, and I've got a couple of eyewitnesses, that it was Santi on a wreck. You're joking. No. You're joking. No, and the story is where it goes. Um, there was a gorilla and Brian Pratt. Now, we all know who dresses yeah, up as a yeah, gorilla yeah, doing yeah, carnival. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were rabbiting. Plumber. <laughs> yeah, certain plumber, yeah. <laughs> rabbiting, of all things. Oh, my God. They're still rabbits. <laughs> yeah, they do. And he thought... Wow. So this, this thing flew the, over the top of his head. And... Um, wow. He thought it well, was... Well, he wasn't. Didn't know what... To, no. You, in fairness to Derek. Yeah. He didn't know what it was, did he? Well, Derek, he, when he was playing rugby, he couldn't see a lot, like, could he? he? Didn't know. he got very <laughs> soon. And I did think of more of um, old Sarge, Brian, yeah. but, but it, apparently, but Sarge, as we call him, Brian Pratt, yeah. owned up to it. He was the first witness. Wow. And he, he thinks he has dobbed his, um, his, his old mate Brian in. Wow. But uh, there you have, well, I've been out to see Santi. Well, as long as he's all right. Oh, I went out to see him in, um, <clears throat> out in Kilmary. And the, right, yes, right. oh. the retired vet, um, David England's given all the reindeers, they're all clear. Wow. And Gwyn Penmine is, uh, wow. with all the help. Well, it, it was quite an explosion when, when you know, I heard the bang. It, it was, it quite, was, a bang. It was, it was quite a bang. It was, I don't know what gun they were using or whatever, but it was quite a bang. <laughs> oh, anyway, Merry Christmas, Bob. Yes, same to you, John. <laughs> so, forward on for my lead, that Santa crashed, crash-landed on Pen Penmine Farm couple of days ago um i've been lucky enough i had a chat with a phone with our mayor gwyn gwyn penmine and he said i could pop in because he's got a bit of a project going on here to repair um as we said that, that obviously the crash lands somewhere on one of on one of gwyn's field and then gwyn has kindly kindly agreed to um fix the sleigh and who should i find in yet Gwyn, how are you, sir? You doing, Jungle? Now tell me now, Gwyn. Everybody's asking. Santi's okay. He's all right, and I know he's in Kil he's in Kilmary and yeah, he's resting he, up. He, he's all right. The, the sleigh ain't looking very clever, <laughs> so we're, we're back you, on you're it. You're back on it now. So obviously, the, we all know this is Gwyn. Gwyn, the, the mayor. Who else have we got in here with me? Now? Hola, deputy mayor. Deputy, uh, Mr. Waller, how are you? Soon to be mayor, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and there we got Kevin Low. Kevin Low, all yell counters. Yeah. So yeah. as we can see in here, um, and it is top secret. Yes. It's very top secret, I, I know that. Well, not now and you know, is that? <laughs> <laughs> but as you can see, they've made the scale. The reindeers are all fine as well, going aren't they? They're yeah. all... They're not moving much. They're not moving up, but <laughs> as you can see, the lads here are putting the reindeers where they, they've made these, especially these reindeers, so they know where, obviously, Rudolph, um, Rudolph and the rest of the guys will be going. So, coming back to you here now, Gwyn, how long before... Do you think this will be this? When will we be seeing this? When will Santi be seeing this? Do you think we're doing a grotto in the Strand on the tenth? Well, the pressure's on then. It's on. It is real on. Yes, um, we've got we got two or three weeks. We've had a ton of help though. We've had a lot of boys helping you, aren't you? The night had a lot of sponsors. Um, we were all most of the businesses actually locally who I've asked have been generous and sponsored us. Oh, that's There's fantastic. Too many, to, too many to mention, but we will. When we finish it, we'll make sure we advertise well and contribute. And, you know, yeah. Sure we well, I, I, well, like. as I say, I, I'm um, going out to see. Santi, I'll take him some, take him some mince pies and some sherry. I think he's very appreciated, the lads, of how hard you all work in, <laughs> and the town of coming together to to rebuild his his sleigh. Which field did he come down in, Gwen? Just no, the one with the big, well, one with the dead, no. <laughs> <laughs> one with the big dead tin. <laughs> the one with the big dead tin, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. um, yeah. obviously you're going to later on in the summer. Perhaps you can organise, so you can come see where he crash landed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure, yeah, we'll sort that out yeah. another time. Well, I was up on the hill when I had the call, Gwyn. I was with my good friend Robert Niblets, yeah. and he said, you know, I said, you're not going to believe what I've just had now. Anyway, Santi, he phoned me up, and I'm going out to have a chat to him anyway. Now is a good opportunity to find out who's been on the naughty list. There's a couple probably lads, isn't there? A couple of us probably. <laughs> <laughs> 
Right, I got to have a chat to him later on this week. And also, I meet it up with the two elves as well. And they all know the truth. They all know the truth, what happened on that, that night. But anyway, gentlemen, uh, leave you all in peace. Gwyn, it's been a pleasure, mate. <laughs> I'll go. As always. <laughs> so I'll leave, you, can, you can shut the door now. <laughs> um, you can get back to work now. You can get back to work. <laughs> Thank you, Jets. See you. Next time you'll be seeing this all. 10th of December, 10th the of Main Street, <laughs> quarter to six. Thank you, Jed. Well, what about that for an exclusive then? So I've um, found my way out to, to um, kill Mary, and I'm about to go and have a chat with Santa to find out what's going on. So you're here about to kill Mary, and look who's with me here. Hello, everybody. Hello. <laughs> How are you, Sandy? Well, I'm not too good, really. You know, I've had a bit of a rough time this year. I'm not very happy either. I can say you can walk along with me now. Yes, with this. but I'm you're, sta you're staying out in Kilmary now, right? We're gonna have a bit, <laughs> bit of a longer chat. Thank you for seeing me. You know, it was a bit of an opportunity. I know there was a bit of a to do about the sleigh and stuff, no, but no. um, cheer, cheer. how cheer, are you? Cheer. How how are you? First of all, we're going. Well, to... I'm all right now. I'm getting better. But there was two to dos. It was that yes. Mr. Trigg, that Mr. Trigg. First of all, I got this ground to sleigh radar. All right. And something's not working. Then, is it? No, it didn't pick up this concrete mound, this trig point. Gosh, I had a heck of a shock there. But even worse than that, I was going <laughs> over Bill and I saw this gorilla. Gorilla. And this gorilla and this man with him, this sergeant with him, he had his gorilla oh, out for the uh, day. Over by Andrew House? Yeah, he did. Make it a bit sense though. Yes, and, and what I did, <laughs> I was a bit naughty. Oh, we get to the I truth had, of the matter now, I had it? a brick, half a brick from a chimney I actually demolished in my belly. <laughs> and uh, I had the brick and I looked at this gorilla. So I threw the brick at him. You weren't uh, sure what it was, really, were you? No, but what he did then, I don't blame him, but I'm not happy. <laughs> not happy at all. <laughs> he took a shot at you, did he? He shot me. <laughs> but he damaged the sleigh. And I sort of skimped and hobbled back. You know, we got there somehow, up and down, up and down. We got back to coming over the quarry. I thought, oh, gosh, we're going to crash in the quarry. No, no, no. At Lady Manor in the lake there. No, we got away up again. We went down right low on the showground. You tired of witness. This is incredible, really. You looped the loop or something as well. I did, I did. Uh, well, I was coming over the quarry, it was so high, I looped the loop there. <laughs> and I thought I was being clever, but I wasn't feeling too well about these knocks, you know. Yeah. Uh, at any rate, the sleigh was in a bad way. Yeah. The sleigh was in a bad way. So I got across the showgun and I hopped it up to Penmine. My old mate, Gwyn Penmine, was there and I said, Can you help me out, Gwyn? Can I have a room for the night in the inn? Well, no, Santa, I haven't got anything here, but I can make you a sleigh. I'll get you a new sleigh. So he's built it. This is what I've heard about. me a new sleigh, and uh, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. Well, I, I, I can tell you now, right, I've been out to see it. And it says, you wait till you see this, Santa. It's got all the radar on it, I know, so I won't hit anything. <laughs> you won't hit anything. And all I need, I could do with a machine gun on it as well, to but shoot these gorillas. Did, how did Gwyn Penmine know to get you out to Kilmary? I know it's a I historical know, village it and stuff. Be. You, you probably know, know Dickie Mint, you know. They you know Dickie Mint? Yeah. They got a lot a, of people know Dickie Mint. They do. They've got a B&B and &B in Kilmary. Yes, yes, yes. yes oh, yes. here we are, look. So here we are. Out to Kilmary. Well, we're going to, what we're going to do now, right? Santi has kindly agreed. Thank you, Santi, for this. I know you... That's all right, that's about, all right. I, it's a bit of an opportunity for myself. Yes, you may have yes, seen yes, my yes. blogs and stuff. I am That's why I busy. called you when mm. I found mm. I think he meant it. He said, oh, come on, Jungle John, you might as well come and have a chat with him. Yes. Be right. So there are some people that want to some questions for you. All right. I'm right. glad we cleared up about um, what happened. And um, we'll have a chat more inside. But, you know, Derek Havard, he's not going to have a... Because um, he was dressed in a gorilla outfit. He's not going to have a present this year. All right. He'll have something else dropped down his chimney. <laughs> I can tell you that. <laughs> okay. And Brian Pratt, well... Well, 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 well Don't well. he surprise me? I know, I know. He You'll is, see, you, you, you know, he confesses to it as well, which is good. That's he ain't a bad old boy. He, he's not really a Pratt at all. But <laughs> <is he? laughs> Hello, Santi. Sorry, sorry. Santi? <laughs> I have to get as much rest as I can. <laughs> okay. 
When Any I look, minute I got a spare minute, I have a bit of rest. I got my blanket keeping me warm here now. Well, here we are. Nice to see you, Henry. Yeah, nice it's lovely to see, to see you back in your, in, with you back in your lovely Aldi cottage, yeah. But I have to thank Wynne Finlay for getting me into this wonderful place, the stables downstairs. Yes. And David England's got the reindeer full and on full colour now. They're shining. Well, that's, so that's thank you to Gwyn and David. Okay, well, 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 make sure they will know. And um, it's delighted that I'm back inside now in one of the colleagues where you're, where you're resting up. And thank you so much for coming and agree to have a little chat to me. Well, that's all right. But it's You've very got nice to... and warm in here, but I haven't got long because okay. I'll have to go around and see the elves. And I've got lots to do, but I've got plenty of time to speak to you when the oh, Okay, right, right. Well, Santi, <clears throat> a couple of questions. And the first question comes from a nursery in Bilf. Called What Tots Want. What Tots Want. Yes, they, they had a big. And how many children are in What Tots? Oh, want? I'd say there must be about over sixty. Oh, good gracious me! Oh, good gracious. You me. know them all, Santi. Of course, I know. But everybody. Was a, they, I know everybody. <laughs> yes, there was one question that this come came out from that nursery, right? There were lots of questions, and you know what they want for Christmas, all mm. the children. There. Mm. The one question: Have you ever got stuck? In the chimney. Oh, 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 yes, I have. I have. Can you see I've lost an awful lot of them? Yes, I can see I've lost a lot of them. I've lost three and a half stone. <laughs> Do you know why I've lost three and a half stone? Because I got stuck down the chimney. And that's where I got that half brick to throw at the gorilla. Oh, from that? That's, that's where it came from. So I've lost this weight now so I can slip in and slip out so quickly. When you got stuck down the chimney, Sandy, you got out all right, didn't you? You got you had the elves and uh, everybody dropped. The elves winched me up, but I struggled. I was covered in soot and a couple of broken bricks, and I kept this one <laughs> in case I had trouble. And this, you, you, you've called it right <laughs> the, the, with the brick. But anyway, yes. we, we talked about that. Okay, Santo, we've got another question from a youngster, Ellie, uh, from Bill Wells. Hello, Ellie. Hello, Ellie. <laughs> now, she had a really, really good question. I thought it was good. What does Santa, what do you do for the rest of the year? Well, that's a very good question. I have a little nap after Christmas because I just sleep for, well, I don't know, 72 hours, I think it is, 72 hours. Then I wake up and I go and check on the reindeers, check on the elves. And I make sure the elves are okay because they work so hard helping me pack in all the presents and get it. But to be honest with you, they do all the work. I do nothing. I just drive the sleigh and go down the pots. And if I get stuck, they're there to help me. The elves are with me all the time. I'm so pleased with the elves. They've done so well this year. Yeah. So um, what I do for the rest of the year is... I you play with the golf, Sandy? I play with the golf, yes. Play with the golf when I have a chance, yes. People look at me a bit silly though with my beard and long hair. I try and take this off and put normal clothes on, but it's, you can't disguise the beard and the hair, you know. So well, it uh, sort of leads in because I know, um, I know that you know this character, Bill, the <laughs> councillor Jeremy Pugh. Plays, oh. <laughs> I, plays a lot of golf. He plays an awful lot of golf. <laughs> Old man abroad, he plays. Yes, 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 yes. You must have seen him and he must have seen you. He not knows a everybody. Bad golfer, not a bad golfer, but. I know what he wants for Christmas. You, you don't you? have to ask me. Okay. I know. Tell me. He wants a crash helmet. <laughs> oh, crash helmet. And it's not for his electric push bike. It's for something else. And a lot of you will know what that's for. I mustn't tell any secrets. No. You're just going to ask him. Just ask him. Why are you having a helmet for Christmas? All right. Right, Sandy. I've got another question from a local uh, built pers young person. Darcy Hughes. Oh, Darcy Hughes, I know her very you well. You know Darcy? Hello, Darcy. Hello, <laughs> Darcy Ira. Uh, Darcy Ira. Ira, well. But that's a good name for this time of year for Santa's because Ira is snow. Okay. That's not, don't know people know that. Thank you, no, Sandy. Darcy Ira. Darcy wants to know what you eat for the whole year. What you like to eat. <laughs> I'm a bit embarrassed about this. Really. Well, don't, don't be embarrassed, Sandy. We're all friends. Because here. I have to eat all these mince pies at Christmas, <clears throat> I don't get sick of them. I don't. I eat mince pies and I drink bottles and bottles of port. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> I'm so happy eating my mince pies and drinking my port. Ho, ho, ho. Of course, the best mince pies in the world are from both Wales children, aren't they? Oh, really? good gracious. And the surrounding yes, areas. The one, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and some of fair play to children, they put feed out for the rangers as well. And some people put, put a bit of straw as well so they can have a lie down, you know, when I'm up on the chimney and coming down inside. Yeah. Well, You're very good children in Bilth Wells. Excellent. Thank you all very much. You'll all have an extra present this year. Thank you. Well, the other thing, Sandy, I, um, I had a, when the 
Well, I, a lot of people know that I was coming out to see it. And I had a surprise message from a Mackerson John, age five in South Wales, wants to know. I know him. You know, know him? Yes, I know him. You probably know his, the grandmother, great grandmother, yes. pretty well. But anyway, Nana, 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 Nana Jungle. That's Nana, Nana Jungle, yes. Mm. Now, um, does she want something for Christmas? Nana yes, what, well, well, you probably know what she wants. Perfume is special. You, you, you're special. So I'm uh, back in the room again with Santi. Hello, Santi. Sorry, mate. Santi, not long now, mate. <laughs> Sorry, but you must no, understand. I have to take every moment to rest because you know it's a tr terribly uh, exertive time now coming up. I, yeah. I need all my rest, so that's why you see me sleeping. Okay. All right, Santi. There's, there's two big events coming up now. Yes, Santi. Hello. You two big, your two big events coming oh, up in Belfast. Why this is why you were doing the recce when you had the little accident? Which well, you, the accident with Mr. Trigg. Yes, and then this gorilla, gorilla that shot that I threw a brick at. All right, oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and his mate, Mr. Pratt. <laughs> Mr. Pratt. Yes. Okay, right. So, uh, um, yes, the two, two big, big events, events coming up, Santi. Two big events. Two big. I'm waking up now. Oh, <laughs> up. <laughs> yeah, he's back in the room. Yes, again. Oh, oh, oh. Don't forget now, children and mummies and daddies. Come to the White Horse on the 27th of November, and you will have a little present of Santi. And then, of course, but you must remember now. Mm. You might not recognise my sleigh because it's a new sleigh. Well, that's going to be Pin Miney and his mates. Town Council have put together for me. Well, I know I'll be on my local new business is sadly. I'll have to bit of practice how to drive first, you know, because I know the ranges do all the work, but I have to sort of steer it a little bit, you know. I know that um, local businesses have all contributed to putting together your sleigh. Oh, they have, and it's, it's, it's good. It's a solid sleigh. It'll last for years and years and years. All in treated timber. Oh, it's wonderful, wonderful. And that's um, on the 10th, isn't it? In the no, Strand no, no, the, no. We've got the 27th, 10th. right? Yes. In the White Horse. And then the 10th in the Strand Hall, 10th of December. Okay. And that's when everybody will see your sleigh on the 10th. Absolutely. absolutely. They'll see it on the... Yes, they will. Yes. They won't see it on the 27th because it's, it, it's, it's just going to be finished off, mm. you know, just ready for the 10th. So uh, they won't see it um, at the White Horse. They will see it at the Strand Hall on the 10th. Which well, outside the Strand outside Hall. Outside the Strand Hall. So, yes. Now, I could have said, you know, all you little children of Bilth and surrounding areas, yes. you've been ever so good, ever so good. But make sure you keep being good, mate. And I will all bring you all a lovely, lovely present. But don't forget to put the mince pies in the porto, please. Thank you very much. Ho, ho, ho. So, Santi. Santa Claus. What do you prefer? What do you prefer? Santa Claus or Father Christmas? Father Christmas, is it? Right? Father Christmas. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> I'm in a bit of trouble, uh, boys and girls. I had this on my lap to keep me warm, and I got up and I tripped over it and nearly fell over. What is um, the Maybe. owner Jane going to say about that, now, Santi? I'm a bit concerned about it. I'm a bit concerned. So you don't okay. know quite what you'll say. <laughs> yeah. Well, Santi. I'll just get her some nice perfume. Yeah. 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 That. yeah. Well, It'll Santi. Right. As I'm walking back now, uh, in a beautiful place, a little village of Kilmary. It's beautiful, yeah, isn't it, Santi? How it's a lovely little village, lovely village. Yes, Hello, it? everybody. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, beautiful village. And um, of course, you got the pub in Kamari there. Absolutely. The Prince of Wales. The Prince of yes, yes, famous yes, little yes. village of yes. Wales. Come and Father visit. Christmas is going there on Christmas Eve as well. He's calling in there is for, he? for a port. <laughs> and I'm in spite. Oh, well, yeah, brilliant. Yeah, well, yeah. look, as you've probably seen, Sad, I've been walking up and down Garth Hill. Yes, right. you're very good boy. I've very really good. enjoyed ah, that, but fit. I've got to say, right, out of all the guests, you have been my favourite. Just that? because you want a big present for Christmas, <laughs> that's why you're saying that. I know, I know all about it. Right. Don't creep too much now, because, uh, you know, don't creep too much. Uh, Dad, well, I we, won't forget will you. We, will we have a chat another day, one day soon? Oh, we will. Of course, of course we will. Will. Yes, we will. You well, will. I've enjoyed it very much indeed. Father, yes, yes. Father Christmas. Santi. Just, uh, just tell you one thing. Right. I won't forget Mr. Trigg. Okay. And I won't forget the gorilla and the sergeant. <laughs> the sergeant. Okay. Sergeant Pratt. So, yeah, well, but, all right. Okay. But you will forgive him eventually, Santi, won't you? Yeah, they'll have a present. <laughs> they'll have a brick down the chimney. <laughs> okay. On that happy, happy note, we want to wish everybody 
A happy Christmas to me, Santa. And a, a happy new year. Merry Christmas and happy new year. Thank you very much.